Hello people, thank you for joining me today. Now, in the last video, I promised to give you my top highlights after reviewing the uh, data being published by Grenadier on the 28th. Now I've done that and I, I had to hold myself back. I was deliberating whether to do this recording inside or outside, but the sun is shining as you can see. It's a great day, so I'm gonna challenge myself and do it outside. And also, I'll try something new. So let me know what you think of it, how you feel, but uh, this video will be done outdoors and uh, let's do this. If, like me, you live in London, that sign behind me represents a significant year. That year is 2012, the year the UK hosted the Olympics. Now, I have also a significant date for you. <laughs> and that date is 18th of May. 18th of May is when the order books will open in the UK. So that's the date from which you can go online configure your Grenadier and if you're brave enough you can configure it pay a deposit of £2,500 now if you've already made a reservation your 450 reservation fee will be taken off the deposit so you, you would only need to pay additional £2,050 and if you are then if you are still feeling brave and you wanted to you could then go ahead and sign a contract. So the contract for your car. And at that stage, once you sign the contract, you are then committed to buying your Grenadier. If you decide to pull out at that stage, you will not be getting the refund. However, and I feel most people probably will go ahead on that day, 18th of May, go ahead and, and configure your Grenadier. And then you'll be asked to make the deposit go ahead and make the deposit, which is 2,500 pounds. And at that stage, you can choose to not sign the contract. Uh, Grenadier would they come back to you two months before your build date. And then at that stage, request that you sign your contract. And even then, you can choose to not sign your contract. You can choose to wait till you've test driven a Grenadier and then sign a contract. Of course, as I explained in my previous video, there are consequences for that. If you choose to sign later, it means you are you sort of you sort of pushed back in a way the queue because other people who are feeling braver and have signed the contract earlier will have their bill date much sooner and much earlier than you would. So that's the date to keep in mind, and essentially, it's exciting to know that in roughly just over two weeks' time, you can go online to sign to configure your, your green idea and to sign your contract and then look forward to your build date. Now, move on to the next one. The second and really the most important highlight for me is this, Lizzie, our queen. That's money. What I mean by that, and I've got to pull this away because if I'm gonna afford to buy the grenade deer and I need to save every penny I can get my hands on. Right, prices, it really, but not just prices, it's prices and models. I believe both go hand in hand. So I'll cover both together. Now, if you remember, we were told that the most basic level of the Grenadier will start from 48,000 pounds. Right, the figures were published and the most basic level starts from 49,000 pounds. I think it's not the end of the world. 48, 49, I mean, if you think about other producers in the market, other manufacturers, that, 49, I mean, it's reasonable. It could have been higher, it could have been worse. So 49K really isn't bad. That 49K uh, is for the two-seater utility uh, wagon, which is basically the most basic one uh, you can get your hands on. and. If you compare that to the Defender 110 commercial two-seater, the Grenadier is actually almost £5,000 cheaper than its competitor, it, its competitor on the Defender side. So I feel that was done intentionally 
by Grenadier to really hack away at the defender market. I think that was strategic, it was intentional, and I think they've done that to get as much business, to take, to take as much business away from defender. And I think they will do that. So that's what nothing, uh, nothing rather. <laughs> one other point, which is also very important, and uh, one of my viewers asked this, it's the prices are all VAT inclusive. Yeah, that's, that's great. So it's all VAT inclusive, everything. Uh, and that's amazing. So that's the price for the two-seater uh, Grenadier uh, utility wagon. Now moving on, the next level up from that is then the uh, five-seater station wagon, which is priced at 52,000 pounds. Now, before I say any more on that, I'm going to rewind back to just, I don't know if you've, if you've spotted the gap there. Previously, we were told by Grenadier that actually they will have two versions of the utility model. So they will have the two-seater utility wagon and they'll have a five-seater utility wagon. But looking at the data that's been published, that five-seater utility wagon has disappeared. And there's been no, no mention of why it's gone off, it's just disappeared. So I think it's worth asking Grenadier what's happened to the five-seater. Again, I can understand why it's, it's been taken off because it may, it, you might as well just go ahead and buy the five-seater uh, station wagon because it's only 4,000 pounds difference. So that's one thing people should be aware of. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge difference in terms of what we were taught previously and what we got. Again, I'm not looking to buy the five-seater uh, utility wagon, so it makes no difference to me. I think most people probably wouldn't be doing that either. Right, moving on. So the most basic level uh, station wagon is 52,000 pounds. Now that's not so bad. If you think about what you're likely to be getting from the Grenadier, 559k isn't so bad. It's actually a pretty good deal, right? And done my, math my mathematics as well. If you compare that 52k to uh, a comparable Defender 110 hard top, the Grenadier comes out as being 1,700 pounds cheaper than the Defender. I must admit, the Defender does appear to pack a bigger punch in terms of technology. But then again, I think Grenadier has struck the right balance. But, you know, on the one hand, Grenadier is cheaper, 1.7K. Defender does have the large, massive screens and all of those gimmicky things. So it's up to you to decide what you want to do with that. Now, the next level that's also very, very exciting is Grenadier have then gone ahead and basically they've made two trims or two editions. And those editions have been inspired by their clothing line. So the two editions are called the Trailmaster and the Fieldmaster. Now, the tra both the Trailmaster and the Fieldmaster cost uh, 59,000 pounds. It doesn't matter if, it's gonna, if, you're going, if you're going for the petrol version or the diesel version, all, both cost 59K. And something else is that the Trailmaster has sort of been designed largely for the hardcore off-roaders, those of you who, who need your raised hair intake, you need sort of everything to go off, you've got it. It's designed for that. Uh, and then the Fieldmaster is designed more for, say, the weekend camping warrior family, uh, who likes going out and sort of camping every now and then and at the same time want to do the school run in it Fieldmaster is there for you one of my viewers did say and I think it's, that there's a point there in terms of people might be better off or they might choose to actually just configure the Grenadier however they want to I think it's up to you personally I'll be doing a separate video looking at the differences between the, the uh, Fieldmaster and the Trailmaster and also trying to advise you on whether actually it's worth you building it yourself or it's worth you going with that. Right now, based on my initial first impressions, I feel the Trailmaster offers a lot of value. That's my view right now because it comes with a lot of off-road spec that you just want to have. Really, you want to have it. So there you go for the uh, second bit. 50, uh, well, 49K for the utility wagon. 52k for the most basic station wagon and then 59k for the Fieldmaster and the Trailmaster which really pack a lot of punch and if you look at the the uh the added on bits for the the Trailmaster I really I, 
the locker the, the lockers it's incredible you really have to go on and try that so there you go now let's move on to the next one i'm going to need the help of my series g to take you through the next item which is options and accessories and just to say by the way two weeks ago i did some work on this you might have seen it looks different to what it was in my last video i basically did a lot of restoration job to restore it to the factory look and why am I saying that? It's I can come out of my flat and basically do this, right? And just change a lot of things on it. But you couldn't do that to a car like this. You can just come out and just respray bits of it. It's just not made for that, right? And that takes me to that option, which is that next point, which is options and accessories. Now, I, I mean, it is mind blowing the options and accessories available to you from Grenadier, it's just incredible. I mean, I mean, this goes to show the, uh, the, the approach they've taken from day one to work collaboratively with the aftermarket companies. It's just, it's incredible. And you really have to go on there to see it. And I'll be doing a special video on that, as I said already. <laughs> but uh, let's give you a quick few things on the options so one of the options you will have will be to respray to have the nose sort of this front bit all of here all of here the front bit all wrapped in a color and you've got two options of red or orange and then that's number one number two you then also get, get the option because Grenadier has that sort of 30 70 rear door split so you've got this portion 70% which you can open on its own they have got a 30% open on its own so you can get that 30% bit also wrapped in a different color and that also could be red or orange and it doesn't end there and then the, the third bit I'd like to highlight is the chassis I need to reach this so you see my chassis that chassis over there you can also get the chassis painted in a color of your liking so they've got three options of that they've got black which really is standard so everything comes in black but if you want you could get it in gray or in red now the reason why i'm using my land rover to show you this is because we know that land rovers really i mean def uh, series and defenders are some of the most modifiable vehicles in the world so i feel grenadier have taken this to the next level in terms of giving you options to modify your grenadier as a way of extending your personality really and i think that's incredible because if i wanted to do that i'd have to pay thousands of pounds to get the front bit wrapped the back bit I mean, it's incredible just giving just having those options at your fingertips uh, to modify your grenadier to your liking and i think that is amazing I mean, there's more I could touch on options, but we just don't have the time for it. The next bit is accessories. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> you've got to look at it. The roof rack section alone of accessories is just wow. I mean, it's impressive what they have there. And, you know, there'll be a separate video on that. I do have two bones to pick with Grenadier. The first one is the fact that Grenadier have locking wheel nuts as an option i think that's un unacceptable i'm paying minimum 52k for a car for a vehicle and you're charging me i mean i will pay but you're charging me 60 pounds extra for locking wheel nuts you've already installed breastplates and under armor protection for free as part of the price but you will charge me extra for locking wheel nuts i mean it's not like you're gonna put locking wheel nuts in it and i'll go nah i don't want them throw them away no you absolutely must give us lucky wheel nuts for free it just makes sense other people do it so i feel lucky wheel nuts should have come as standard rather than options then the second point i have is grenadier also as part of the accessories they have a light bar so they've got a 40 inch light bar and it costs 750 pounds roughly I personally feel I could go online and get a light bar for about 250 pounds, get it fitted myself, everything, 
cost me maximum 350 maybe 400 pounds 750 i feel is quite a lot for a 40 inch light bar having said that though i also sort of i have faith in grenadier i sort of feel like they've probably gone for the best in the market and also covered in a different section is warranty that light accessory light bar will be covered by a three-year warranty but 750 for 40 inch light bar i feel it's, uh, it's quite pricey but then you don't have to do it and that's what they'll say to you you will have the switch panel on top if you want to get your own light installed go ahead and do it you don't have to buy their light you can do whatever you want to do i mean it's built really for you to do whatever you want to do with it on to the next one You might think, why is this guy running? I was basically trying to demonstrate performance, right? And uh, Grenadier said they would, and they did. They delivered on the performance data, huge data. I have already posted some of them on YouTube. If you go to my community section, you'll find some of the data there, and I'll keep, producing, I'll keep uploading more videos. Uh, I mean, literally name it we've got it payload weight uh mass per gallon uh top speed sun and circle we've got it uh what i did though was i actually compared some of the land rover land rover defender 110 or 110 commercial figures against the grenadier and i'll be honest in some areas Land Rover does appear to do well, uh, but I think overall, in other areas, Grenadier does better. But my preference, really my preference, is still for the Grenadier. But I won't label this point too much. Like I said, lots of information have already been uploaded on my community section. Go there and see the data. I believe even this section in itself deserves a deep dive video, um, a deep dive video to look into the performance and then compare it to other, other manufacturers as well. For example, uh, La uh, Land Rover Sun & Circle is slightly smaller than Grenadier's. Uh, Grenadier's maximum speed is 160 miles per hour. Land Rover, the basic commercial one, is roughly 117. So I feel they're sort of both give and take. Land Rover, for example, has 17 liters more, I think, uh capacity in inside the cabin than sorry grenadier rather grenadier has higher capacity than land rover does both can tow up to 3500 kilograms both of them are equal on that so the relative comparable some one is better than the other in some areas and the other is better than the other in some other areas that's just how it is but uh, overall i would still go for the grenadier next one is this fuel it's not just fuel the capacity of the fuel tank yes basically my fuel tank is right over there and uh it took me a lot of digging to find this figure so the capacity of the fuel tank for the grenadier is 90 liters which is relatively big it's fine it's all right uh defender 110 is 89 approximately so it's not necessarily any bigger than a defender but uh it is 90 liters uh i only found that in the brochure it wasn't on on the website anywhere else but that's the figure and then for the diesel version the add blue is 17 liters, which again is reasonable. Uh, I will touch on this later, but I feel there should have been, as you can see with my, with my Land Rover, where I've got my normal massive tank and then I've got a spare tank. I think Grenadier should really have provided uh, a spare tank, but that'll be covered later. Next one. You've spent 52,000 pounds buying your basic Grenadier. You want to make sure 
your warranty is as great as it can be and should anything happen through no fault of your own to your spanking new grenadier you want to make that you are covered and i must say grenadier have you covered as far as warranty is concerned now i will throw some figures at you the first one is you've got 12 years anti-perforation warranty on your chassis and bodily components 12 years that is astounding number two you've got five years warranty on your vehicle five years now let's put that into perspective land rover gives three years grenadier being so new to the market feels so confident about their product that they've, they've slapped five years warranty on the vehicle and then in addition to that you get three years warranty on the paint and in addition to that because they're working so closely with the aftermarket guys you're getting three years warranty for for accessories so the accessories you're going to be buying to modify your green idea three years warranty added to that now no more needs to be said on that that just makes a lot of sense so let's leave it there next one is servicing let's talk about it so for servicing grenadier really have thought through it incredibly well now what does that mean number one they recommend as other manufacturers do that you service your car every 12 months number two is there will be 3d manuals and diagrams basically everything you need to fix your green idea yourself you'll have the information at your fingertips number three is if you wish to take your green idea to a service center to be fixed or to be serviced absolutely they are planning to have 185 service stations for you to do your servicing now i'm assuming those service stations will be in the uk i do not know that's a question i'll be putting to them well let's, let's assume it's going to be in the uk 185 service stations now those service stations haven't been announced yet we know they are collaborating collaborating with bosch with bmw with others so hopefully sometime in may they'll let us know which service stations those are now for me one final point which i think is really really important is they've said they plan to supply us with parts within 48 hours and i think that's incredible to say actually we don't want to keep it stranded if you need any parts you can get them in two days that is amazing we are almost there the ninth highlight for me is financing and that is why I've come to my bank. Right, so for some of us, we need to explore various options. Uh, one option that, could, that I might need to explore is coming to my bank to discuss my financing options. Do I want to take out a loan or do I want to pay lump sum or other options? First thing to note is part exchange is an option for you to fund your green idea. So on their website from the 18th of May, Grenadier will have a part exchange calculator. So you can go on there, put in details of your vehicle and then have that uh, evaluation be put towards your lump sum. So that's really incredible. That's number one. Number two, but also the final point is that they also have various personal and business purchase plans. So, personal purchase uh, pl uh, plan, personal, personal, personal purchase uh, contract, business contract, hire, business purchase with a balloon, whatever you want. So think about going to the likes of 
Mercedes or going to your dealership, right? And wanting to buy any vehicle. The same approach you would have there, Grenadier have the same thing sorted for you when you go to the dealerships to buy the Grenadier. So I think that's really incredible. I think it's amazing. They've got all of that sorted for you. Just go in there and buy the same way you would buy any normal car. Financing. Now, move on to the final point. Next one. You're probably thinking, Lex, how am I going to buy my Grenadier? How's it going to work? You know what? They have got that sorted. It's basically like climbing steps. It's so easy, literally. Right, I hope that works. <laughs> so how are you going to buy it? You've got two options. Now, for those of you who are brave, who trust the Grenadier because you know what? They haven't given us a reason to not trust them. So those of you who trust them and who want to buy online, they've said absolutely fine, you can do that. So order books open 18th of May, you go online, you configure. Once you've configured, you pay a deposit. Once you've paid your deposit and you're feeling confident, you go ahead and sign that contract. Once you've signed the contract, they'll keep you posted on progress. Then when the time comes, they'll get in touch and say, hey, your car is almost ready. Do you wanna make us the next, do you wanna make the next, take the next step and pay the full money? Or however you wanna fund it. Everything can be done online. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to then say, for those of you who actually prefer to see people you prefer to have someone walk you through it? Absolutely. Now, we know they've got 38 uh, outlets around the, uh, the UK uh, to basically focus on selling the Grenadier. These are people who have been well-trained, they're experts, they'll be able to answer all of your questions and walk you through every aspect of buying your, your Grenadier. So those people will be ready for you to go to. And um, I believe Grenadier's plan is to make sure you are roughly 45 minutes drive away from a retail center, which is great in a way, if that happens. So for those of you who want to see the Grenadier at first, who want to drive the Grenadier through those outlets, you will be able to test drive the Grenadier before you go ahead and make your final purchase, which again, I think is great. One point, so again, some people can choose to do both. So you could choose to go ahead and make your, uh, make your deposit online, you can choose to not sign the contract and then you can choose once you've test driven the Grenadier to then sign the contract and make the payment. Or if you choose to pay the deposit, if you go and test drive it and you don't like it, you can decide to ask for a full refund and absolutely a full refund will be given to you as long as you don't, you haven't yet signed the contract. So that is how you buy your Grenadier, either online or in person, or a combination of both. Choose whichever way you want to do it, and they'll say yes, absolutely. Next one. I am looking for ducks. Nowhere to be found. This signifies my final and last points, which is what I feel is missing from having gone through the data published by Grenadier uh, on the 28th of April. Now, the first thing I think is missing, I feel, is um, I think there should have been an option to maybe have a spare tank, a spare fuel tank. I know a lot of uh, emphasis is I mean, emphasis has been put on sort of jerry cans and things like that but you know if you think about those of you those of us who want to do overlanding travel long distance there are only so many jerry cans you can carry so i think there should have been something i'm gonna have to take a sit <laughs> there should have been something done to that there should have been something bigger than the 90 liters uh you have so that's number one number two which i think is also very very important but i feel this this second one is more it isn't a criticism, it's more of a, a question of, of tactics and I think it's, it's been done intentionally. And uh, it is the configuration platform. So if you remember, previously, you could log, you could go on Grenadier's website and sort of configure your build in a way and then save it. Right now, that option has been taken away and it's been locked off until the 18th of May. So what that means is, 
we've only got pictures right now to look at pictures of sort of the various options and models you cannot go online to actually try to configure it to your own liking it won't work it's been in the uk that system has been shut off and i think it's been done intentionally perhaps uh maybe because the system needs to be built needs to be developed i do not know uh but i feel for example right say i want to buy the grenadier and i would like to discuss with, with my girlfriend so i would go Hey Anna, I'll take her to dinner, we'll sit down, we'll have a lovely dinner, her best restaurant ever. Then I go, hey Anna, so um, I am going, no, we, we are going to, actually, we would like to buy the Grenadier. You and I would love to buy the Grenadier. And this is how much it costs, but don't worry about the money because we're getting so much value for the Grenadier. And you know what? We actually, I can show you what we're going to get for our money. This is the build. This is what it's going to look like. Um, um, you know what? You can choose the color, and I just choose whatever, whatever color you want. Fine. You can choose. You can you, you can build it, Anna. You can. So I want to have those conversations early with either my girlfriend or you might choose to consult with somebody else, whoever you want to consult with. Have those conversations early. So when it comes to 18th of May. All I have to do is just go online, configure what, I, what I'd already pl planned to do anyway, and then just press reservation, pay the extra money, reserve it, and lock, lock it in so I can still be at the front of the queue. So I feel this is really for those of us who are very, very eager to get our hands on, on the Grenadier, if we can afford it, and be at the front of the queue. I think it would have been great for us to have you know had a way to actually configure in real sort of see what it's going to look like on screen before the other books open so when the other books open we kind of just go online and put it through straight away i think otherwise we'll then we'll just spend time having to configure and showing people and getting advice on actually what it is we want and then make putting the others through so again I, I think i understand why it's not been done i don't think it's the end of the world but that's just one thing i mean it's been so brilliant. I've had to try really hard to find uh, a point. But overall, overall, I am really, really impressed uh, with what Grenadier have achieved so far. Uh, I'm really excited to see uh, the uh, platform open on the 18th for ordering. I do not know what I'm going to do yet, <laughs> but uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think it's exciting. And then one final thing. I hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think now the next video after this should be a video of me speaking to someone from grenadier about this everything we've talked about today and i also know some of you have already begun to submit your questions that's great keep them coming uh again if you've already gone online and you've, you've seen those figures you've seen those data you have any questions send them send them over hopefully Grenadier, I do want to meet and have someone for me to speak to. I think that'd be amazing. I'll be able to, put, to pose the questions to them and then make a second video, make a video on that uh, for you guys. But actually, having said all of that, you know, I'll also be diving deeper into each of these areas. So, for example, the options and accessories, I think that in itself deserves a lot of, deserves a video. And then thinking about the trail master versus the field master versus actually configuring your, your own thing. There'll be a separate video on that. I think I could dive into several areas. So there'll be loads of videos coming through in the coming weeks. Now, one thing I ask from you is, uh, ask of you is please, please, please do subscribe. It's us with the channel. It's a beautiful day in London. The sun is shining. So don't forget to go out wherever you are in the world. Enjoy the sun and some fresh air. Thank you for joining me today and for listening to me. Yabara, we at you. Take care. Bye.